everyone, so it's Katie here from the Queen of Teen Fiction and as it's Valentine's Day and love is in the air, I just wanted to take a moment to reflect on some of my favourite fictional couples in YA books because clearly I am hopelessly single and more emotionally invested in the love lives of fictional characters than I am my own. So number five is Ron and Hermione. I love the general story of Harry Potter, so the romance isn't really a major part for me. See, when I first started reading them as a kid, I wasn't really interested in the romance side of things anyway, because I was more interested in the action and Harry and yeah. So the romance wasn't a major part, but I really, really do love Ron and Hermione, and I think I've appreciated them more as I've got older and understood just how much they care for each other and stuff. So yeah. I really do love them together. What I also liked as well was how slowly the relationship built. You were rooting for them and waiting for them for each book to end up together and they didn't write until the very end and I really like that because you don't see that a lot in books nowadays. And number four on my list is Remy and Dexter from This Lullaby by Sarah Deeson. Now, over the past couple of years I have found myself enjoying contemporary romance a lot less and I don't really read as much of it nowadays. But This Lullaby is one story that I just constantly keep going back to to reread. I like how Remy is very cynical about romance and because her mother has had so many divorces she just views relationships as a thing that has to happen in life. It always has a strict beginning, middle and end to her. She knows when it's starting to go downhill and she knows when it's time to finish it. And when the book starts she is planning to finish with her latest boyfriend to tie up that loose end before she goes away to university. And then Dexter comes into her life. He just challenges every cynical opinion she has on relationships and it's just a story about a girl learning to trust and learning to fall in love and that's what I really like about it. And I like that it doesn't give everything away. The ending isn't really a happily ever after, it's just a we're happy right now. Which is how it is in life, you're not gonna get a happily ever after because things will always be thrown at you. So yeah, I really like Remy's journey. Number three on my list is of course Katniss and Peter from The Hunger Games. What I love about Katniss and Peter's relationship is that it's just a very lovely side of the story amongst everything else that's going on around them. And I know Katniss plays the part of being hopelessly head over heels in love with him for the sake of the games. It's when she starts to realise in Catching Fire that she actually does have genuine feelings for him and when she starts to realise that she might actually be in love with him. That is just the cutest thing amongst this story of fighting and rebellion. Before reading The Hunger Games I hadn't really come across a story in YA where the female character was more the stronger character. It's normally the guy that acts the big hero. I love how it breaks the stereotypes of the usual love stories in YA. I also love that there isn't a great deal of focus on the physical relationship. There's not pages and pages of them just making out. It's very minimal. They also have one of the best quotes in any YA series for me. The I love you real or not real quote. I just love that quote so much. I would mention the amusing ship name for Peter and Katniss, but I am way too mature for that. <laughs> My second favourite fictional couple, Suze Simon and Jessie De Silva from the Mediator series by Meg Cowart. Now I don't know how many of you have actually read this series because whilst a lot of YA series have a big fan presence on Tumblr and Twitter and stuff, the Mediator doesn't. This series was one of the reasons that I fell in love with reading young adult books and Jessie and Suze were the first fictional couple that I really shipped. I really wanted them to be together and to be happy, like my own happiness depended on it. If you haven't read this series then it is about a girl that can see ghosts and she finds the ghost of a young man in her bedroom. I mean you would think that with a ghost living in her bedroom she'd get action all the time but that is not actually the case because Jesse died several hundred years beforehand so he's very old-fashioned and what is acceptable now just didn't happen back when he was alive. So he lives by all these old-fashioned rules. Yet because of that there's a lot less of an emphasis on a physical relationship and it's more about them getting to know each other and talking to each other all the time and the conversations between them are really great. It might not seem as mature as a lot of the books you find nowadays. 
might seem a little silly at parts, but it really is worth a read. Okay then, so my favourite fictional couple of all time in any book ever, drum roll please, it is Malik from the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. Magnus Bain and Alexander Lightwood are the reason for so many of my tears. I honestly did not expect to love them as much as I did, but in the end of the series they just outshone every other character for me. I became emotionally invested in Malik and most of my favourite scenes from the whole series are because of them. In particular some of the scenes that stick out the most in my mind are the scenes towards the end of City of Glass when Alec finally starts to realise that Magnus actually loves him and the scene when there's a massive battle going on around them and Alec is just exceptionally paranoid as to why Magnus hasn't called him back is just one of the funniest and most cutest scenes in that whole series and also the scene when Alec kisses Magnus in the hall in front of all those people and it's just you feel so proud of Alec in that moment because I've got to admit, in the first book, I did not like Alec at all. I just thought he was such a moody little brat. I mean, I did feel sorry for him because we knew that he was gay and that the clave didn't really accept that, but that was no excuse for how moody and harsh he was in that first book. So yeah, I didn't really like him at all. But then as the series got further and further along and he started spending more time with Magnus, he just grew into himself more and he started to become more comfortable with himself and that's when I really just started to adore him as a character and by the end of the last book in the series, City of Heavenly Fire, everything was about Magnus and Alec for me. I cared more about them than any other character and Alec, would, his story throughout this whole series is just perfect because he keeps growing and growing until he's finally accepting who he is and accepting the mistakes he's made and He's just a much stronger character in that final book than he was at the start. And if you'd have told me when I first started reading City of Bones that Alexander Lightwood was going to become my favourite character, I'd have laughed. But he did, and that's mainly because of Magnus. Honestly, there are so many scenes with Magnus and Alec that I just love to talk about right now. I'm thinking maybe at some point I should just make a video solely about Malik and how much I love them. And maybe I should drag my best friend into doing that video with me because I forced her into reading the series because I knew she would love Malik and she did end up reading the series and she did end up loving Malik and now she hates me for it because I've ruined her life. So yeah, maybe I should force her into making a video about Malik with me. So that's just five of the couples in Young Adult that I really, really love, but there are so many that I adore and it makes it desperately hard to choose just five. So what's your favourite fictional couple in a book? Let me know in the comment section below. Or if you prefer, you can drop me a tweet anytime. I'll leave a link to my Twitter in the description area. So if you're single this Valentine's Day, then don't feel down. Pick up the book with your favourite fictional couple in and live their love lives. Because they're probably more exciting. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time. Bye!